We begin at 530 with the latest on the bridge breakdown and the headaches it's causing for drivers. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian and I'm Shannon Heggie. Both sides of 195 are now impacted. The westbound lanes of the Washington Bridge are totally closed and now the eastbound side is down to fewer lanes. You're looking live at Sky Drone 12 coverage showing us what 195 looks like during the evening commute here. Now, this whole situation is obviously leaving many people very frustrated and scratching their heads. Our Sarah Grinelli is standing by to answer some of your questions. And Leah Crowley has an update on traffic. But first, 12 News reporter Lauren Brill spoke with local business owners who are already feeling the impact of the bridge closure. Lauren. Those I spoke with here say they're concerned about how this will impact their business, saying they're worried that the traffic backups might stop people from coming to Wayland Square for holiday shopping. And no time is really the right time, but this is really a bad time. Florence Facola is one of many small business owners feeling the impacts of the Washington Bridge closure. The concern is traffic backups might make shoppers decide to stay home. As I look out my door right now, it's like um, a parade of cars going by. Over at Books on the Square, they're hoping people will take advantage of online shopping. But this season is a busy time for them, and they're used to large crowds coming out to their shop. We're a little nervous that it will. We hope people still come to the square. Over at Minerva's Pizza, the manager tells me she's not able to accept most delivery orders, which is where they make a lot of their income. They're hoping deliveries can be made when there's a lull in traffic, calling in extra drivers to prepare. Even neighborhood-wise, we had a lot of trouble because once our drivers started to go, they could go, but they couldn't get back in. The cross streets in Wayland Square are back open. Police could be seen directing traffic. Mayor Brett Smiley says he walked around the area Tuesday morning talking with business owners, starting to address some of the problems. They wanted to make sure that through traffic could get through. We put up some temporary no parking signs to allow with the flow of traffic. Uh, based upon that feedback, we've made some small adjustments to allow for a little bit more parking um, uh, on Angel Street in particular. Business owners tell me although they have these concerns, they are optimistic, saying it's only day one, and they're hoping that the city will come up with a plan to address these issues going forward. In Providence, Lauren Brill, 12 News. Lauren, thank you. And Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli has been going through your questions sent into 12 responds about the bridge breakdown. Sarah joins us now live in studio with what some of you wanted to know. Sarah? Shannon Campbell, we have had a lot of people reach out to us through email and on social media about the closure of the Washington Bridge that's affecting tens of thousands of people in Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So here's what one person asked. Why didn't they see this problem till now? So here's what we know so far. According to RIDOT, there are regular and routine inspections of bridges in this state at different times. July was the last time the Washington Bridge was inspected, and at that point, RIDOT claims it was in good condition. However, on on Friday, an engineer noticed an issue with one of the pins that used to hold major beams in place. Experts were brought in over the weekend to look at the bridge, and they did an investigation of all the components on the bridge, and then they decided to close it down. And so here is another question that a viewer submitted. When are they reopening the dual lane split on 195 East? Rideout says that they are working very quickly, as quick as they can to reopen the bridge, but they say in about two weeks, traffic will be moved to two lanes on the eastbound side of the bridge, but they are working on that right now. Now, the entire bridge should be back in full operation in about three months. However, highway officials do stress that these timelines could definitely vary. And we definitely want to hear your questions questions, so send them right to us at uh, 12 responds at WPRI.com. We have no doubt there will be more questions mm -hmm. as we continue to quite literally mm -hmm. navigate all of this. Sarah, thank you.